Hi everyone! The other day while out walking to get my steps, I go for a walk so I'm not playing tennis, um, I, I, I was just like blown away by the fall leaves. So it seems like it took fall a while to get here in the Pacific Northwest, but now it is, it is in its glory. Like there's all these colors and all these leaves and of course the first thing I think about is, hey, can I turn these leaves into watercolor brushes for the pro for Procreate? And um, so then I went about collecting a lot of leaves. <laughs> but then something kind of bad happened. I sort of forgot about my leaves and then this happened. They um, became dried leaves very quickly. <laughs> And so, so I was like, oh no, oh no, what am I going to do? I went through all that trouble to collect all those leaves and then I like forgot about them. But then I had another idea and I didn't know if it was going to work, but I thought, hey, what if I put them in a bowl of water and try to get them wet again? Will that do anything? And actually it did. I was actually pretty surprised. And then I thought, okay, great, great. And I've got all these wet leaves now. What am I going to do? It's like, okay, I got to figure out how to, how to photograph them and what should I do? And, and I, and I just, I just went, I went for it. I put them on a black um, mat background. It's a, it's a cutting mat actually, but it's nice and black. And I just thought, you know what? I'll be able to cut these leaves out and procreate, you know, get the shapes right. And then when I did, I was like, I had a new problem. I, I didn't like the way, I, I was able to create brushes from them, but I didn't like how they looked. They looked too realistic. I wanted them to look more like watercolor. So then I was thinking, okay, what can I do here? Um, I like the idea that I was using these leaves to sort of cheat and make leaf shaped, leaf shaped brushes, but I need to do something else. And so I came up with a new plan and that's what this tutorial is all about. And we're going to go ahead and start out with a 12 inch by 12 inch canvas at 300 DPI. And so let's go ahead and jump into it. Okay. The first thing I'm going to do is bring in my leaves. So I'm going to tap my wrench and select add, and then also select insert a photo. And let's see. Oh, I like this one right here. Nice little leaf collected on a walk with my husband. I collected a whole bunch of leaves. I'm going to be making a whole set. That is pretty cool. Okay. So I've, I've, I've brought it up in size. I don't want it to go over the edge though. So something like that. So it's pretty good size. Awesome. Okay. And then I'm going to start making a selection. So I'm going to choose my selection tool right here. And then I'm going to go ahead and select automatic and I'm going to just start choosing some colors in here and I'm going to be using my finger and dragging it to bring up the threshold and I'll demonstrate that now. So let's go ahead and tap in the orange here and bring that up. Okay. And if I get the outside, I don't want that. So I just want to be as subtle and take my time and getting these colors as I can. Um, and it doesn't, whoops, doesn't have to be perfect because this is going to be a watercolor leaf. There we go. So little pieces at a time. Whoops. Okay. And keep on dialing the threshold back and forth for each color. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger so I can get my finger on the color here. Oops. Nope. Wrong color. Okay. And you can always use that two finger tap to clear the selection. There we go. making our way. There we go. Okay. That looks like that's actually pretty good. Like I said, I don't need it to be perfect because it's going to be watercolor. So that's great. I love that selection right there. And so what I'm going to do now is come over to save and load and under selections, I'm going to tap that little plus sign and that will save my shape. All right. Now I'm ready to go over and create a layer on top here. And I'm going to go ahead and turn off the visibility there for that layer one. And on layer two, um, let's see, I need to change to black. So I'm going to double tap down here in the darker colors. And then I'm going to come back over, make sure layer two selected. It is. And I'm going to choose my selection tool again. And this time I'm going to go ahead and turn on color fill. And then under my save and load, I'm going to tap that selection I made. And now we have our selection there on the layer. So when we're satisfied, we can just go ahead and tap that selection tool to toggle it off. Now we can clean this up if we want to. Let's see, I've got my eraser set here, I think, to a script brush, which is a nice big brush. And I'm just going to take off this little part right here. 
But the rest of it, I kind of like the edginess of it um, because it is going to be a watercolor. So it's not going to be perfect if, if you're watercoloring. There's Part of the beauty of watercolor is the edges. Okay, so now that I have it right where I want it, I'm going to go ahead and tap my adjustment tool and then Gaussian Blur. And we're going to dial that up to about 5%. I found, whoa, that's too much. <laughs> about 5% is where I found that it looks kind of suitably wet as if it's wet <laughs> like watercolor and I like that so when you're satisfied you go ahead and tap that uh, adjustment wand so that you toggle the setting off okay so now we're ready to go we're going to go ahead and create a layer on top of this one and we're going to go ahead and tap it to get the menu and then we're going to uh, select clipping mask and then we're going to come back down to layer two and create another layer so we want two layers clipped to our leaf here and on the bottom one let's go ahead and choose gray i think i want a lighter gray so i'm going to style up to like that and i'm going to choose from the water collection these mad splashes and let's see how big do i want uh, actually somewhere around i don't know somewhere between 15 and 20 percent is going to be my guess and then i'm just going to go ahead and kind of have a couple on the edges here <clears throat> Not too many, just a couple over there too. All right, and maybe down here. Yeah, that's good. Okay, and then I'm going to go back to that layer. I'm going to tap N, which is normal mode, and I'm going to change the mode to hard light. There we go. And I might even want to dial it down. Just depends. I'm going to leave it max for now, the opacity, and just see what I think when I add my next color here. Okay, now I want to go with a darker color here. So double tap in the gray to get 50% gray. And I'm going to change my brush. I'm going to go up to uh, painting. And I love this fresco brush. And I'm going to go with it the max size. And I'm just going to kind of come in on the side, but kind of, you know, just very quickly, sort of a, like that. And I want to do that a couple times. Ooh, it's already looking pretty cool. Now I'm trying to decide, am I going to do another? Well, I could always undo. Ooh, I like that. Okay, so this is just... It's kind of random, but it's great. It's just like watercolor would be. Now I do want to dial down those splotches, I think. So I'm going to go back over to my mode here so I can get to the opacity. And then I'm just going to dial those down so they're way more subtle. Ooh, I love that. Okay, that looks like a really great watercolor leaf. So now let's turn that into a stamp. And what we're going to do is we're going to just, actually we're going to kind of cheat a little bit. We could create a new brush and a set just by pressing this little plus sound and plus sign. Um, and actually to create a new set to put our brush in. We could go all the way to the top. I have a lot of brushes here and create a new set. But I think I'm just going to go ahead and make it inside of the calligraphy set here. And I'll move it around later on. So we're going to tap calligraphy. We're going to go to monoliner. It's one of my favorite things is just to use the monoline tool as a base. So go ahead and gently drag that over to the left and tap duplicate. Okay, perfect. And then we're going to go over to our wrench, add, and copy canvas and that's taking a copy of everything and putting it into memory now we can go tap our monoliner to go to the brush studio and we're going to tap shape edit import and paste and when it comes in this is inverted to what we want we actually want the brighter color to be the leaf and the darker color to be the outside so we're going to take two fingers and tap and then anywhere where it's black it'll be invisible and anywhere where it's lighter than black it will have a certain level of opacity uh, white having the full opacity and gray having some sort of level of op transparency to opacity okay this is perfect so when we're happy with that we're going to tap done all right and then let's go down to um, properties first here um, i want this to use the stamp preview and i want it to uh, nine percent is pretty good there and then um, I'm going to turn the maximum size all the way up. And we'll deal with this in just a second. And let's see. Let's look at our drawing pad. I want to bring the preview size up so I can see what's going on. Okay. 50% is pretty good. Okay. There we go. All right. And so let's see. Anything else that I want here? Um, no. That actually looks pretty good. So now let's go up to the stroke path. We're going to take the spacing all the way up to max because we're doing a stamp here. Okay, that looks good. All right, and um, let's go ahead and looks like, it looks like my rendering's great, so I don't think I need to do anything there. Probably the last thing to do is just give it a name. So about this brush, let's go ahead and call it Water One, for lack of a better name. You can be way more clever than me, I'm sure. <laughs> and then, who, who made it? So it'll be you, in this case, me. <laughs> All right, and we're satisfied, we can go ahead and tap Done. 
Oh, that's kind of a big preview. So let's go back in there and look at the properties again. Oh, it made my preview go up a bit. So let's go ahead. Oh, that's because I did the Oh, okay. Yes. I moved my preview up so I could see it here, but that actually changed the preview outside too. Okay. So I'm going to change that to about 10% and then tap done. All right. That's better. Now I can see what kind of leaf it is. So now let's make invisible these layers and add a layer to the top. And let's choose a color from this palette, which in a future video, I will show you how to make. And I like that orange there. And let's see, let's dial our brush. Eh, I don't know, somewhere around 28%. And let's just look at it. Oh, that's really cool. Let's turn that over and make it bigger. I love this watercolor look. It's so fun. The next thing that came to mind was creating a wreath brush set. Here is a video that show you how to create a wreath brush, but I will also see you in a future video and we will create three brushes. Meanwhile, I hope your day is amazing.